Peter here, and I'm here to talk to you about bumper plates. So I'm super jazzed about our bumper plates because we've literally been working on these for all of the five years that Fringe has been in existence. I've personally clocked thousands of miles flying all over the world, including the US, looking for the very best factories to make bumper plates. And right now we're in the best factory making the best bumper plates the world has ever seen. So what makes our bumper plates better? We focused on two main things. Number one, durability. Number two, consistency from bumper plate to bumper plate. Now let's talk durability real fast. So this here is a 45 pound bumper. It's actually not the best bumper to talk about durability on because 45 pound bumpers are some of the widest bumpers that you can possibly find. So think about it. When you're cleaning that bar up, when you're snatching that bar overhead, when you dump that bar from overhead, what you're seeing or what the bar and the bumper is seeing is they're seeing this amount of surface area contacting the ground and distributing all of the force of you dumping that entire bar. A 45 pound bumper plate even if it's a cruddy 45, it's probably going to be decently durable because it's got a pretty good surface area, several inches there, that's dissipating the force of dropping that bar. Whereas a 10 pound bumper plate has got a very thin cross section of surface area to hit the ground and dissipate that force. What we do differently with our bumper plates starts with this center ring, the center collar here. So it's nice and flange so the bar can go into it really well but the beauty is actually on the inside we've got a couple of hooks of rebar in there we've got the inside of this metal piece actually knurled and then additionally in the manufacturing process we're painting a little bit of glue and then a little bit of a different type of rubber right here around that center before we put the main rubber into the mold so why this is important is that whenever you are mating two heterogeneous or different materials, that's where you're going to get a real weak point in your design. So we do everything that we possibly can to make that mating as firm as possible. We use a different durometer of rubber for the 10s and 15 pound plates than we do for the 25, 35, 45, and 55 pound plates. The reason for this is the higher weight plates can have a little bit less stiffness to them, again, because of that same thing that I told you before about surface area, whereas the 10 pound and 15 pound plates need a high level of stiffness in order to stand that bar up and withstand that impact as the plate hits the ground. Additionally, another secret that we do is that our 15 pound plates and up are true 450 millimeter which is IWF diameter from here to here on the plates, whereas our 10 pound plates are 445 millimeters in diameter. What this means is when you only have 10s on the bar, you're not gonna notice that five millimeters that you're missing from a bar height or anything. However, when you have any other plate other than 10s on the bar, it's going to raise the tent slightly off the ground so when you're dumping from shoulder, overhead, or even from the waist, the 10 pound plates are going to impact the ground a split second after the rest of the plates. And because the 10 pound plates are the weakest, just because they have the least material in them, that means that they're going to be much more durable than they would be otherwise. Additionally, we do another nice thing with the 10 pound plates in that the 15s and ups we're making them as thin as we possibly can so you can stack as much weight as you possibly can on the bar. With our 10s, we actually go a different direction and we use a rubber mix that allows the 10s to be a little bit thicker. Again, we're just coming back to physics and surface area. Moving on to consistency. On a lot of bumper plates on the market, they give themselves a plus or minus 3% leeway of the stated weight. So this is a 45 pound plate that means that it could be off by up to almost a pound and a half. So your 45 pound plate could be 46 pounds or more, could be 44 pounds or a little bit less. And that's still gonna be fine according to those manufacturers. So we hold ourselves to plus or minus 
10 grams, which even on a 10 pound plate is basically an amount of weight that, that is fairly meaningless in terms of what your lifts are and what you think you're lifting. The next thing is that we actually create the plates with these inset, these metal parts inset a little bit so that you're not stacking metal on metal. It's gonna save your bars and gonna save your plates. Additionally, we've got a nice little bevel here that allows you to easily pick these plates up when they're on the ground. Your fingertips fit underneath it, can pull it up really easily, unlike some plates that are just flush to the ground. Check out the reviews on our website. We've got more reviews on our bumper plates than anyone else in the market. We send every single customer who buys from our website a survey to review the bumper plates and we let them all flow through to the website to stand behind what I'm saying here and what we say on our website. We offer the best warranty in the business on our bumper plates. On our 10 and 15 pound plates, we warranty those plates for a full year, whereas everybody else is gonna warranty those plates for 90 days maximum. On our 25, 35, 45, and 55 pound plates, we give you a full three year warranty. So to recap, One Fit Wonder bumper plates, most durable, and the most consistent plates on the market. This has been Peter talking about bumpers.